My name is Selena Garafino. Thank you for being here. If you're enjoying these classes, I invite you to join my YouTube membership. It helps support me to stay in the studio and produce these classes for you every week. And if you are ready to deepen your relationship with the yoga tradition, I invite you to study with me in person, live streaming, or through instant access courses online. I offer Katoni yoga programs, 200 and 500 hour teacher trainings, as well as transformative travel experiences all over the world. And YouTube will always get you a special discount on my retreats. Today is restorative yoga. One of the most valuable things that we can do for ourselves in this age of so much pressure is to take time to rest and renew. And that's my invitation to you today. We're gonna start with a little bit of simple breath work because I know that if you're just coming from any kind of situation that spiked any of your chemistry, it can be difficult to just go right into stillness. So grab a blanket or two and come to a comfortable seat on the blanket. And whatever sort of agitations are there right now, maybe you need to shake your fingers or clench your fist and let it go. Maybe you need to open your mouth and sigh. Just give yourself a little shake. And then super easy, take a nice breath in. And then exhale and spin to the right, super gentle. Inhale and come part way out of the twist. And exhale, go back into the twist again. One more time, inhale, just part way out of the rotation. And then exhale back in. Inhale, come back to the center of yourself, bring your hands to your knees and three rounds of gentle oceanic ujjayi breath. I want you to breathe so that your abdomen is super soft. It might even be helpful to bring your hand to your belly. Let your belly expand into the palm of your hand. And out. Good, now let's play with spinning the other way. So nice and easy, inhale through the nose, filling the belly. And then exhale, travel to the left, right hand to left knee, nice and easy. Inhale, come part way out of the rotation. And then exhale, go back in. One more time, inhale, part way out. And then exhale, back in. Inhale and travel back to the center. Really good. Moving with intention, moving mindful of how you're transitioning. Come off of the blankets and take one of your blankets. I'm gonna switch to this wool blanket just cause it's a little denser. And <clears throat> you're gonna take the blanket into a really loose, um, a really loose fold. Now yoga blankets, it's best if they're folded short end to short end. If you have a towel and you're using a towel for practice, that is absolutely fine. Whatever you have available to you, never think you can't practice because you don't have, you know, fancy tools. So I'm going to open up my blanket like this and I'm going to make a really loose, a really loose roll. Okay. And then you're going to take that super loose roll and it's going to go between the pelvis and the rib cage. Um, and we all kind of have different shapes, right? So where that is going to be comfortable for you. We're not going to stay here a long time. This isn't everyone's favorite shape, but it's really nourishing for the nerve ganglia of the belly. And then you're just going to rest your forehead on your hands. We're just going to take about five breaths here. My feet are quite wide so that I can let my knees sort of turn in. And I want you to let your belly really expand into the roll. And again, this might feel uncomfortable. If you're like me, I've had some abdominal surgeries, or if you're a mother, there can be lots of reasons this can feel a little intense. 
but it's very nourishing for the lymph that are in the intestines and the organs. So just give me like three big belly abdominal breaths, letting the belly expand into the roll. Knowing the intense sensation will pass quickly and the after effects of this will be so nourishing for the body. One more full round of breath. Really nice. Okay, very gently press yourself up to all fours and we'll slide this blanket out of the way. Just gently take that blanket and set it off to the side of the mat and grab a couple of blocks or two bolsters. Sometimes if I have two bolsters, I'll just stack them like that. And you're gonna create a little shelf for your bolster. And the bolster is then gonna come in between my legs. And I like to take another blanket here to help support myself. And I'm just gonna fold it like this the long way. If you don't have another one, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna slide myself, you can slide yourself up and you can even place another blanket underneath of your hamstrings between the knees if you wish. You can put a roll, you can put multiple blankets. It's important that you're comfortable. And then from here, you're just gonna gently lower down and turn your head to one side. And you can really let your arms be supported here. If you're feeling chilly at all, I would encourage you to place a blanket over your body so that you can really be tucked and nestled in here. And if you feel like there's strain in the hips or the lower back, again, place a larger roll or more blankets underneath of the hamstrings. And then allow yourself to just drop in and rest here just for a couple minutes. And my commitment to you is whatever urgency there is in your life and in the world, that whatever it is you need to do will not have changed in the time that you are here on your mat, breathing and connecting and recommitting to your steadiness. So let each breath wash the mind. If it's challenging for you to be in stillness, count your breath. Next exhale, one. A full breath and next exhale, two. At any point, you can change the direction of your head starts to become uncomfortable. yourself to fully occupy every breath, giving yourself permission to be present here, right now, just riding the wave of the next breath, allowing it to really sweep the mind. about one more minute here. You 
Good, nice and easy. Slide your palms to the floor and mindful of the way you're transitioning very gently. Lift yourself back up. Okay, for the next one, I'm gonna lower my bolster all the way down. If that feels too intense to you, you're always welcome to keep it a little more propped up, but it's gonna rest like so. I'm gonna slide these blankets out from underneath of my heels, and I'm gonna take a blanket, the one that I was just using, and I'm gonna sort of trail it off of my bolster like so. You might have to play a little bit with the, um, the positioning of this. And I'm gonna come to rest. So this kind of gives a little bit gentler of a swoop for the back. And I'm gonna come to rest with the bolster underneath of the rib cage. Now here, if this feels like too much opening across your chest, you can always place Bull, um, blankets or blocks underneath of your palms and I always encourage my favorite thing to do here if you have extra blankets is to actually fold up a blanket in such a way that you can create a little bit of this action across your wrist without getting you too much in your head it really um, everywhere where we allow those gentle folds in the body it informs deeper relaxation in fact i'm going to put blocks under my elbows and my pillows under my wrists you do what you can with the props you have available to you let the feet just fall open you can close your eyes or fix your gaze gently at a point on the ceiling and allow yourself to rest here. Give your weight to the ground below you. Give your weight to the props. Give yourself permission to be here right now. Again, if it's difficult to be in a space of quietude, you can always count your breath. Let the breath be really oceanic. See if you can even connect your hearing to that sound. So that your breath becomes more interesting than your thoughts. More interesting than whatever worries are coming your way.
it nice and gentle. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And slide your right foot to the floor. Then slide your left foot to the floor. Nice and easy. Come over onto your left elbow and use your right hand. Let your head hang so that your head is the very last thing to come up. Very good. Okay. Nice and easy. We're going to take just two more little postures here. Take um, your roll again, the one that you had for your belly. It might be the same blanket if you don't have all these luxurious props like me. And you're going to make a really loose roll. Now, I want you to be mindful here with this one because um, if you have lower back stuff, just be really mindful that this is feeling good and feeling safe. So I'm going to take the bolster now between my shins and I'm going to come to lie on my right, or pardon me, on my left side, just draped over the, um, the blanket here. And again, it's sort of in between my pelvis and my ribs. And then from here, with this bolster supporting my shins, you can see it has good contact between my shins and my knees. I'm going to slowly roll open. And this is where you want to be mindful if the sensation is too intense. So allowing now my chest to expand and open. You can always place a blanket um, as long as it's not too high underneath of your head here. And we'll just stay here for about a minute and a half. So nice full breathing. Resting, a big part of why it's difficult for us to rest is there's so much pressure and worry that the world will fall apart while we rest, that the problem won't be there when we wake up. And we can start to cultivate an inner security through every moment that we choose rest, even if it's just five breaths. We start to cultivate an inner security that it's actually going to be okay. I want you to give yourself five full breaths here, counting each exhale. So the mind has a focal point, and the breath is sweeping and washing the mind. of the way you're transitioning slowly thoughtfully come back onto your left side you can just tuck your left elbow under your head for a moment and then nice and easy right hand drop your chin to your chest as you sit up and we'll transition to the other side so you'll come down onto the right side now again that roll is just in the abdomen side of the abdomen right arm is underneath of you and again you can always place a blanket under your head if you wish for a little more support and then nice and easy roll the left arm open I'm not concerned about how far you go we want to be in a place of ease Continue to breathe nice and steady. Just 
smooth in-breath and out-breath. And again, it can be useful to just count the breath, allowing the fullness of the in-breath and the fullness of the exhale to move through, sweeping the mind. yourself down five breaths not in a rush to complete the breaths but just fully experiencing each breath to its end Now super mindfully again, bend the right elbow to support your head, come back onto your right side. And use your left hand, again drop your chin and sit up super, super slow. Okay, for our final rest here, we'll spend just about five minutes in a version of Shavasana. Shavasana doesn't mean you have to be lying on your back. You're going to take two blocks and make a little shelf. And depending on your height, you can choose how high you want these. I'm going to put mine on their highest height, but you could, well, maybe I'll put them here. You can put them on their lowest height, uh, second highest height, pardon me. Now, um, the blanket that's under going to be underneath of your head, and I would also encourage you to have blankets nearby to drape on your body. You're going to place your shins on the bolster, and you want a nice angle here. So I don't want everything to be totally stacked like this. There's like a 45-degree angle here. And then the blanket that's under your head, I want you to take the blanket and roll it underneath of your neck part way. And now take these bottom edges and tuck your head in at the bottom. So you're taking the edges and making a little like almost bowl and then do the same thing with the top edges. So there's a real cocoon around your head. And then this can create a real sense of safety. You can drape blankets across the pelvis, one to keep you warm and also to provide a real sense of security. And then you want your heels dangling, so there's no sense in which the heels are touching anything. And again, you can flip your palms towards the sky and let your fingers sort of gently curl in and then come to rest here just for five minutes. The position of the blanket will have slightly tucked your chin towards your chest. Again, those angles of, of closing in on ourselves, that sort of gentle fetal position type sensation allows us to move into the shell of ourselves, into that quiet placenta of silence. Rather than shaping the breath here, can you just watch the breath? The chest still and the abdomen soft. Anytime you need deep rest, this is a shape you could come into for 20 to 40 minutes. Today in this little nervous system reset, allow the weight of the body to be received by the props. Allow the breath to move with ease. Allow the mind to sort of, the brain to unfurl 
like a fist that was letting go. Inviting deeper layers of relaxation. The earth rising to meet the body. And the body sinking into the earth. Please gently deepen your breathing. And on your next in-breath, slide your right foot to the bolster. And then on your next in-breath, slide your left foot to the bolster. And then you can bring one foot to the floor and then the other. And super Gently and mindful of how you're transitioning, come onto your left side in a fetal position. And then super easeful, use your right hand to sit up. Allow your head to be the last thing to come up. Just bring your hand somewhere on your body. Drop your chin. And three final breaths here. Honoring rest, honoring yourself, honoring this body that does so much for you. And then take your hands in front of your face and rub your palms together nice and vigorous. Get some good heat between your hands. Cup your palms over your eyes, fingertips on your hairline. Open your eyes behind your hands, let in the dark. Release your palms, let in the light, and welcome yourself back. Thank you so much for taking this time to rest and nourish. I'll see you next time.